This is a real fight, Crisbell. Time to use your new skills. Be swift, be precise. First, select attack and then choose your target. Finally, just as the attack connects, press the button one more time to do a double slash. Getting that second hit requires precise timing. Make sure you press the button again right as your attack hits the enemy. Very good, Crispell. Be cautious. Watch for your opponent's attack and press the button right when they hit you to block most of the damage. Nice! Now give it your all. Finish it off. Well done, Chris Bell, but I am afraid our work is not done here. Who are you supposed to be? Hello, my name is... Tell me if we survive. You know how to fight? Let us show him. Christopher, by the way. Chris Bell. Two less of them. Been chasing those things since I left St. Clarity. We've got to stop them before they reach town. And exactly how do you plan to do that? Hold your ground. They won't get past us. Look, Volcano. They broke our poor goblins. How adorable. Can we keep them? Gally, we've talked about this. No more pets until... Until I stop murdering them. I know, I know. I just want to play. Not my fault they're all so squishy. <laughs> and that's why we can't have nice things. It didn't work. We can't touch them. Not even a scratch? Can't take much more of this. Chris Bell, it is time. Use the crystals. The crystals?
miss your grandma, Chris. And how it used to be around here. If I pick every strawberry right now, maybe I won't have to do it ever again. These just bloomed yesterday. If I take extra care of them today, they'll be even prettier tomorrow. So many chores! The kids in town get to go out and play. I should talk to Mother Superior first. I should talk. I should talk. Chris Bell, finally. Did you prune the roses yet? I'm sorry, Mother Superior. It's just my rose. He. the frog. It took it. Enough, enough. I've seen that look before. Find that rose, then hurry back. There's work to do and no time to waste. Go on. Yes, Mother Superior. Thank you, Mother Superior. And be careful. I worry about you. Lovely day for a walk in the woods. Chris Bell, what's the hurry? Good morning, Marco. Have you seen a little yellow frog? A frog? Well, sure. Maybe wearing a top hat? Carrying a rose? A top hat? Then no. Maybe try the mayor's estate. There's always something going on there. I'll try. Thanks, Marco. Sorry to bother you. Are you kidding? That's the most interesting thing I'll hear all day! I still have to find that frog! I still have to... Check out the cool sticker we found! It's a skull! Check out the... Why would someone do this? Yeah, yeah, good morning and all that. <sighs> that Marco is never home. He will inherit this one day. He should help me take care of it. It's not just the farms that will be renovated. It's the orphanage, the shops, the whole town! Your future fouls the land, poisons the water. Goblin raiding parties are burning our fields. Money, power, your precious industry. That's all you care about now. How dare you! Where's your proof? Proof? Look around you. Look at our crops. Then sell your lands, Robert! 
Don't let it trouble you any longer. It's what's best for the town. It's best for someone, but not the town. You seem to be doing just fine. Now, see here, I never... Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor. Hello, Crispell. What do you want? Hello, Miss Lana. I was looking for a yellow frog with a top hat. Of course you were. Try the northern fields. That's where all the little pests go, hmm? May the lady light your way, Crispo. Too many in town have strayed from her grace. Oh, thank you. I should go. of the town. May the lady... Oh, you're still here? Run along now. with the mayor. They seemed really angry. Again? I keep telling him to trust the mayor. We need his soldiers to protect us. But it's always, we give the lady our trust. Everyone else has to earn it. Sorry, Chris. What's up? I'm looking for a little yellow frog. He was wearing a hat. A top hat. He took my rose. A frog in a top hat? Only you, Chris Bell. I haven't seen it, but I'll keep my eyes open. Thanks, Polly. Maybe I should pray to the lady about it. <laughs> you have been talking to my father. Well, if you're looking for a miracle, I suppose the cathedral is as good a place as any to try. I've never been inside by myself. Still... If Mother Superior finds out I've come here alone... Who's doing this? 
actually, you are. You have opened the crystals of time, Crispell. <gasps> Where? Uh, I mean, who? How do you know my name? So many questions. Matthias the Frog at your service. I have been keeping an eye on you for some time now. On me? Why? I suspected you had been chosen, my dear. It appears I was correct. Chosen? By whom? What are these crystals? Why me? More questions. The past and the future have revealed themselves to you. Come, see for yourself. I can't! I don't want this! Nothing to fear, child. You have much to learn about your powers. Powers? This is a curse! Why is this even happening? You are upset. Perfectly understandable. But I know someone who can help. He lives in a little hut down by the lake. Leave town? Mother Superior will worry. She would be very worried if she saw you like this. Is it another talking frog? If only. But sadly, no. Trust me, little one. Let us go immediately. Not help, Crispell. Why would someone? Just a little further. What am I supposed to... Just a little further, we are almost there. Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. The soil, it feels warm to the touch.
shouldn't get too far away from the city. Wilhelm, answer the door. Go away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. You're a child. Manners, you're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience. I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time age. As am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise, it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities. So choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. where I planted the seed Wilhelm gave me. It looks like me. It does. Interesting. I do not believe in coincidences, Crispell, especially when there is a time mage involved.
Crisbell! You had me worried! Mother Superior! You're okay! The orphanage is still here! Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. <laughs> At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Yes, Mother Superior. Now, go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Go on now, and be careful. Matthias? I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Oh. Crispell? I am sorry if I upset you by leaving. No. I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. What a lovely... Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. If you see my mom, don't tell her where I am, okay? The Miller's house and the apothecary's shop! They've been destroyed! Yes, quite unfortunate. Unfortunate? The Millers are homeless. Without the apothecary, the town has no medicine. Only in the future, and only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But, no, you're right. Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. Problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Why would someone do... Excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. That sounds... bad. Bad? It's terrible! One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't you just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled and labeled them years ago. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though. I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. 
I suppose they do. Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. Just a little nudge. Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. I should tell June which one the death cap is. Would she have any reason to believe you? No, you're right. We need proof. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a... You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. This is as much proof as we are likely to get. Miss June, we found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Me I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. You might get lucky. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. 
the seed you planted for Wilhelm. It was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange. And they only bloom every ten years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. There's the tree I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead. Or rather, I will. Here it is. Now to bring it back to Crispin. You did it. It's not much, though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apothecary. I have glow fruit. Will one be enough? That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you would be happier. What is it, Chris Bell? There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there's only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. How, oh, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Crispell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. I have one tonic and two houses to save. How do I know what the right choice is? I have one How do I know? Hello, Chris Bell. Oh, sorry. I should go. No worries, dear. You're always welcome here. Blight. Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks a number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about Ash Blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms, that it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone. Crispell, look! Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. 
Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphanage. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ashblade to Nareem the last time! We've got to go! Crispell, wait! Run, girl. There's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me... Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray they're up to the task. He is right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. Again? What is it now, Time Age? Goblins are attacking the farms. We've got to do something. Matthias said you could help. Did he? He's right, I suppose. With your talent and my training, perhaps in a few years. Years? The goblins are attacking now! Patience! You're a Time Mage. Try to act like one. We are out of options. There is no other choice. Give her the sword, Wilhelm. Ridiculous! The sword is much too powerful for a novice. The strain would be too much. It is the only way. We have no time to spare. Fine. If the girl is everything you believe, she may well survive. It doesn't matter. I'll do it. Very well. This should be interesting. <laughs> Interesting. The sword! So much power! I can feel it moving through me! And just in time! Quickly, Crispell! The goblins! But Mother Superior! My friends! I have to protect them! Go! I'll look after them! Meet us at the cathedral! We'll be safe here! Now go! Thank you, Wilhelm! Now that you have the sword, your powers have been enhanced. You should now be able to send your enemies to either the future or the past. Give it a try. Tell me if we serve. Let us show him. There. 
That's two less of them. We've got to stop. And exactly. Hold your ground. Look, Volcano. Galley, until I stop. I just want to... <laughs> What's this? I feel stronger. Big mistake. Don't let your guard down. I don't trust this. Are you kidding? Time to have fun. <laughs> Impossible. This isn't working. I'll bring them back to the present. After that, you use your water skill, and I'll try sending them to the future again. This again? Have it your way. Careful. They did something to our shield. Some stupid rust. <laughs> Who cares? Time to finish. to hear of this. Go! Ugh, fine! Crispel? Is that you? You did it! We can't thank you enough! Anton, now do you see? Look what you've done. What I've done? You think I brought these monsters to Nareem? I know this was your way of getting the farm. You wanted this land for your industrialization project. This was all you. Everything I do is for the future of Nareem. For your daughter's future. I would never put anyone at risk. Mayor Anton, if I may divert our focus, this was clearly set up by an unknown party. And... On that topic, tell me, Crispel, where did you get that strange sword? Miss Lana, this was a gift from Mr. Wilhelm and Matthias. Oh, and who are these strangers you seem to know so well? What do they want with Nareem? Is it possible? Did they set this up? And are you part of their scheme? Miss Lana, no. We were just trying to help. Enough! Guards, seize her and the shielded fellow. We'll lock them up until we can extract a confession. We have to go. Now! To the cathedral. Wilhelm said he'd meet us there. You made it! You really were able to wield that sword. Well done! And... As promised, your friends are here. In fact, your mother superior... Crisbell! Is that you? Oh, thank the lady. Mother superior, I'm so sorry. Shh, dear. Your interesting new friend here has told us a great deal already. I won't claim to understand all of this, but you're safe. That's all that matters. Safe? Maybe for now. She won't stop with Nareem. The Empress will keep building up her armies. That monster won't let anything stop her. 
The Empress? The Empress of Time. A formidable foe, and far beyond our current capabilities. And those idiots in town are too busy pointing fingers to see who saved their worthless skins. Run from her if you want. I'll go myself if I... Enough! Don't be stupid, boy. You'll need all the help you can get. Which means, I suppose, that I'll be going as well. Going? I can't leave! The orphanage! My family! No harm will come to your sisters, dear. Not while I live. Do you see the three faces of the lady? Portrayed in the cathedral's stained glass? Those images foretell a prophecy. A legend which has been safeguarded through the ages. The lady spoke of a girl that would open time itself. A girl that would be able to see into our past as well as the future. I believe that girl is you, my sweet Chris Bell. But I'm no one special. I... Uh... You are special, my dear. More than you could possibly know. Go to the cathedrals and seek out the other mother's superior. They will help guide you. I know you've always wanted to find your mother, to learn more about your history. Perhaps this is your chance. Your grandmother often spoke of Crystallis. Perhaps the answer lies there. Matthias? Where did he go? He's slippery, that one. Even for a frog. He'll turn up soon. Count on it. The soldiers will be here soon. Quickly, girl! I... Fine. I'll go. But I'll return. I promise. You'd better. Those roses still need pruning. Don't think I've forgotten. Now get moving. Merciful lady, watch over my Crisbel. Guide her, shield her, comfort her, for she has a long road ahead. And when she is finished, O oh great lady, take her gently in your arms and bear her home. Be safe. Dear girl. There's another cathedral in St. Clarity. Perhaps we should try going there next. Just like this one, it's watched over by one of the Mother's Superior. It has another of those stained glass murals as well. Perhaps there's some connection with your powers. Saint Clarity, huh? I guess I knew this day was coming. The path to get there is through the forest east of my house. Let's get moving. We have to run away for now. The path east of Wilhelm's house is our escape route. <laughs> 